What have you used every shade in a palette? You, you haven't. <laughs> and if you think you have your lighting, unless it's this palette right here, then I'll believe you. Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a review, some swatches, and demonstrating how I achieved this look using the new number no. 9 snap shadow palette that Fenty Beauty recently released. So if you guys do want to see my opinion, as well as how I created this look and how these shadows swatch, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get into the palette, I do just want to give myself a little shout out. So I do have a video on the Miss Merlot mascara that just came out. I will be featuring this mascara in this video as well. So if you guys do want a sort of in-depth review on this mascara, I will link it in the description box down below. And on my lips, I do have the Underdog Stunner Lip Paint. This lip paint isn't new, but they've released it in the larger size. But if you guys have been here for a while, you'll know I already have it from the holiday collection that released in like November, December time. So if you do want to see a full in-depth review of this lip paint, then go ahead and click the link in the description box down below and you guys can watch that video. So there were a few Fenty Beauty products released at once and I did manage to get quite a few bits from there. But two of the things that, that were released that I was most excited for were the palettes. If you guys watched my video on the money palette then you'll know that this palette was probably the thing that I was most excited for out of every single launch that they had. And in comparison this one here, I found it to be quite underwhelming to be honest with you. It looked very dull. On the website and one of the only reasons that I ended up picking this palette up was because there was a deal to get two of them at the same time. If you guys missed it these are snap shadow palettes so the concept is that you can combine two of them together like that so you have sort of two palettes in one. If you guys do want to see an in-depth review and swatches of the number 10 palette I will leave a link in the description box down below for you guys to find that video but we are focusing on the number 9 palette today. So this palette is a wine themed palette. What I can say from the jump is that this palette definitely looks better in person. I don't think it's a palette that photographs well. I was very very underwhelmed by the pictures of the palette that I saw I think the only shade really that stood out to me was Pinoir Please which is this purple one but you know these things they happen so we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the swatches because I've already done a video on the snap shadows so any real information that you'd need on the snap shadows in general will be in that video so we're gonna go ahead and start right here so this is She Bubbly And this is a beige kind of almost white color and that one is very very creamy. I think all of the mattes in the snap shadows are really really creamy and then we have the eggplant type shade Pinoir please. And this shade right here is actually what stops me from calling this a burgundy palette because this for me is not a burgundy it is very much a purple leaning towards, you know, what I would describe eggplant to be, the colour of an eggplant, that's what I would call that. And then we have a brown, and this shade is Pop the Cork. So far, just looking at these swatches, I think it kind of shows why I was so underwhelmed by this palette. These shades aren't anything special, really. I feel like the eggplant shade there is sort of one that you don't see a lot of, but the other two, you know... You're going to see them anywhere. Then we've got this champagne-y type colour here. And this is She Bubbly. And then we have this rose gold type colour bottle service. And there is a bottle service. I like this colour. I think this is a super, super pretty colour. And that's where I think the swatches start to get interesting. I say start like we're not one shade away from the end of the palette. But you, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? I hope you guys see what I mean because I, I don't know. I don't want to sound like I'm talking crazy or anything like that. But yeah. If you guys can see from the swatches, we do have some crumbling there. And honestly, using the shadows, you do get quite the bit 
of fallout and then finally we have this shimmery brown in the shade pop the cork don't know why i swatched it in such an awkward place so i think i'm gonna re-swatch it but i'm gonna put the swatch down here by my wrist so this is pop the cork I don't know, even swatch this like underwhelming. It's 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 like eh, okay. I mean I guess but it's definitely a palette that I feel like you take some warming up to once you've used it. Speaking of using it, I am gonna go ahead and show you guys how I did this look now. So if you don't wanna see this part, go ahead and skip to the end, but it's your loss if you do. It's your loss. Cause I don't really know why you do that. Why would you not wanna see how the pack like what I used all six shades, I used them all, so watch it, watch it. Taking my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, I'm just going to prime my eyelid. And today I do have my Beauty Blender, didn't have it yesterday. The first thing I want to do is build a brown sort of into my crease area, so I'm just taking this fluffy brush and this shade Sherry Fairy right here and I'm just going to build this colour up into my crease and blend it out. So I'm blending up slightly into my brow bone area but ever so gently in this area because I want most of the depth to be in the actual crease here like I have on this eye. Once that brown is blended out, I'm going to take that same brush and the teeniest, teeniest amount of Rosé Spritz, which is this sort of beigey colour right here. And I don't want to put too much on, so literally just a brush tap like that. And I'm going to blend this up into the brow bone area. If I put too much on, it definitely will pull ashy on me and sort of create this grey tone, which I don't want. So just like that, as you can see, I didn't put a whole lot on and I've still maintained the depth of the brown. And that's the kind of thing that I'm going for. I don't want to tone that too down with that rosé spritz shade. Next, using a flattish brush, I'm going to dip into this shade Bottle Service right here. And I'm going to apply this shade to the inner lid. So I'm going to start right on the inside here. And I'm going to take it about halfway. I love, love, love this shade. It's like... A mixture of pink and burgundy in one and now taking a different flat kind of brush I'm gonna take the shade pop the cork which is this shade right here and this is the shade that I'm going to blend into the rest of my lid don't worry about how far in you bring it because we're gonna go in with bottle service again in a little bit now we're back in with bottle service and we're gonna drag it in to pop the cork and this is just gonna blend them out where they meet here so it's not too jaggedy looking it's just gonna be like a seamless sort of transition into both colors so with this step literally just manipulate it until you're happy with the blend there's no real precise science to it, it's just going by eye, which is what I'm doing. And now using this kind of pointed brush, I'm going to go into this champagne shade right here called She Bubbly. And this is the shade that I'm going to put in my inner corner. If you guys saw my video on the number 10 palette, you would have seen that when I first saw this launch, I was very much gravitating towards the green palette. That is the one that caught my attention because I thought this palette wouldn't be very wearable. The colours were underwhelming to me, but now that I've used it, played around with it, and honestly, I've used five out of six of the shades in this palette so far. I think I'm going to find a way to incorporate the purpley shade in there, Pinoir, please. I didn't think I was going to like this palette or that I'd find a look, but it looks a lot better in person. Now that I've done that, I'm going to take just a normal black liner and line my waterline. This is standard procedure for me on my channel, as you guys may already know. I just love a black liner. It just adds a different sort of vibe to the look, and I'm just so... Here for it. I'm going to try and put some of that purpley pinoir please shade under my eyes. I hope it doesn't ruin the look because it doesn't really kind of go with any other colour that I have on because it's more purple than 
burgundy but i hope it works so this is what we're looking like with the pinoir please shade added under now i'm gonna go in with the miss merlot mascara i do have a separate video on the new mascaras that came out i wasn't initially gonna do this step for this look but i figured they released a green and a burgundy mascara and then palettes that sort of match that same color scheme so someone somewhere thought that they would work in conjunction with each other so i'm gonna go ahead and use this just for the video's sake and just to be different but if you would like to see my opinion on the mascaras and the shades then i will link that video in the description box down below it's different but i think it works whoever kind of came up with this concept to release these together definitely knew what they were doing because the colors in this palette 100 percent go with the miss Merlo mascara i like it i might not even put lashes on for the rest of this video i think yeah 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 i think we're gonna leave it here we're gonna leave it here <laughs> so my final thoughts on this palette honestly i am pleasantly surprised that this was completely unexpected for me this palette definitely looked fairly dull when i saw it online but it has performed a lot better than i ever would have imagined i'm really pleased that i got it because i was definitely on the fence about getting it had there not been a deal for two palettes for 38 i never ever would have bought this palette it just seemed so bleh to me it wasn't something that i thought that i would use but now that i have used it i've used every single shade in this palette Every single shade in this palette is currently on my eyes. This palette is a hit for me, so I do like both of the palettes. Turns out that I was wrong, my initial opinion was wrong, and I do like both of them. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Be sure to check out my other videos as well. I do have a lot of Fenty Beauty videos for this collection. I think I got everything that came out, I'm not sure. Ah, minus the brow wax. I didn't get the brow wax, but everything else I do have. So if you want to see those videos, make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, share, comment, all the rest of it, and I'll see you guys in my next video.